Justin Trudeau, the son of, uh, of uh, uh, Pierre Trudeau, the former prime minister, who has now passed away. Uh, I remember when uh, Pierre Trudeau was having an affair, as I recall, with uh, Justin's mother, and then he ended up marrying her, and she was going out with the, she was dancing with the Rolling Stones, and, you know, there was, it was wild stuff back in the, what was it, 70s? Because I think, uh, I think Justin Trudeau was born in 71, so late 60s, early 70s. And, uh, but here's the interesting thing. Uh, this uh, uh, story from the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. Okay, the former school teacher has promised. This is what he campaigned on. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Keep in mind the the, the Stephen Harper, the the current Prime Minister of Canada, is basically what Americans would call a Republican. He's a conservative, you know, conservative guy. Uh, Trudeau is the Liberal Party. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's the most liberal party in Canadian politics. I could be wrong, but I think that's the New Democrats. But it's it's the it's a progressive party, and so anyhow, back to the story. This is the official news from the official from the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. They're equivalent of NPR, only they don't take ads from big corporations like NPR does because they'd never had a Reagan who inflicted that on them. Although Harper would have liked to have privatized it, he didn't. So anyhow, here's this the story. Uh, the former school teacher, this is uh, Justin Trudeau, he, he went off and taught high school out, out west for a while uh, in Canada. The former school teacher has promised to raise taxes on the rich as well as run deficits for three years to boost government spending. He also campaigned against the Trans-Pacific Partnership and against the uh, Keystone XL Pipeline. It's like Bernie Sanders was just elected Prime Minister of Canada. It's amazing. I mean, yeah, Trudeau's not quite Bernie, but he's damn close. I just think the whole thing is fascinating. And 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 I and we're seeing this all over the world is that this 35-year experiment that's been going on, it's a little more than 35 years really. Thatcher came to power in in uh, 78. Uh, Reagan came to power in 80. Uh, neoliberalism, or what you might call Thatcher, Thatcherism, Reaganism, really started to to catch on as a uh, as a way of thinking. You know, the think tanks were promoting this really aggressively throughout the seventies, and and you know, the eighties was the the end of the era of John Maynard Keynes economics, not just in the United States and the United Kingdom, but over the last thirty five years, governments all over the world have adopted this. In fact, Denmark has been moving to the right and has been following austerity policies, which have hurt their GDP. Sweden said, no, thanks. We're not going to do that. Sweden's doing just fine. Thank you very much. But it's like all around the world now, the, the failure of neoliberalism or conservative economics or Reaganomics or Thatcheronomics or trickle-down economics or supply-side economics, whatever you want to call this, this voodoo economics is what George Herbert Walker Bush called it. It has been exposed and it's falling apart. And I think that's marvelous. 